morning guys, what's going on? We're here on the 2019 Trail Boss. I want to get recalls done. Um, it's pretty typical for a vehicle the first year it's made. I mean, it's not a new Silverado, but it's a new Silverado platform. So, got some seat belt stuff, some brake stuff they gotta fix or reprogram. So, we're on our way up to Donwood Chevrolet here in Logan, Ohio. And, uh, been up here a couple times. I bought my first Camaro there. Um, decent place. The guys are friendly. They uh, take care of you. So, if you're ever in the area, hit them up. So, um, coming up on exit here any minute. If you guys are ever up around, <clears throat> you guys are ever up around Logan, definitely check out Old Man's Cave. There's some definitely awesome roads over that area. Um, Good for driving. I mean, it's really scenic out there. So, it looks like we're making the corner and we are here. There she be. Chevrolet Buick and Cadillac. Got some blazers. Oh, there's some new silver eyes. Oh, there's new 2500s. Good old Bob Evans. Can't go wrong there. Oh, these old roundabouts. Gotta love them. Uh, what's up, guys? So we just got our vehicle back. Trail Boss. And they quoted me. I don't know. I don't know if you call it a quote or not, but they said it would be three hours. I was like, oh, crap. And it was only an hour. So, I mean, props to them for not taking three hours like they said they were going to, which is it's, it's awesome. So, uh, which was fine. I was sitting in the waiting room. Nobody else there. Uh, I was watching some movies. <laughs> so, uh, it was fine. Um, but they, they fixed a... Uh, uh, brake wear problem sensor. They reprogrammed the brake stuff. Uh, they fixed the seat belt pretensioner, and then they also had another thing a rivet. They installed two rivets underneath the carpet, I guess, for something. I don't know, but uh, that was new to me. So I'm going to go um, get some parts for the other Camaro, hopefully any stores open and uh yeah there's good old donwood chevrolet they never done me wrong here i mean they've always treated me well so i'll definitely come back for service for something else um i don't know so let's go uh let's go get some other parts so guys i just got my got my gauges for b and some of course gotta have that black ice we're at auto zone and look what just rolled in. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Look at that fast and furious machine right there. Oh my goodness. And it pulled in, there's people giving it pipe shots out here on the road. Oh my goodness. You see all kinds of things. And I haven't been in any store really since all this virus stuff broke out. And there is tape, I think there's twi probably 20 mile of tape on the floor in there for places that, it's amazing there places to go not to go and they got like a four foot you pretty much gotta put your stuff on a pole and have them scan it at the checkout I they got four by eight sheets of plexiglass at the cash registers it's it's crazy I, I never thought our life would be uh, like this so I mean it is what it is and we gotta get through it but it's it's crazy it, it really is so, I'm going to head home, maybe get something to eat, um, get home, and hopefully I, my, my steering wheel should be here. That's a whole other ordeal by itself. I'll uh, fill, you get, fill you guys in on that uh, later. So, uh, catch you back at the house.
I'm driving, I look over to my right, and uh, I was like, man, there's some nice looking gauges. <laughs> and then I realized that they didn't take off the anti-theft device, so we got a lock, some kind of cable looking thing on there. I, I assume you can cut them off. I mean, I don't really want, I mean, I'd rather take it back, but I'm not driving 40 minutes back to AutoZone to get it cut off. So, <laughs> we're gonna find out what happens. I, I've never cut one of these off before. And I mean, the beeper didn't go off when I went out the door. So, I mean, who knows? I don't know, but I'm telling you, this car is a curse. <laughs> It's always something with it and uh, you guys are just along for the ride so uh, stay tuned <laughs> up guys so just got home got my steering wheel and I'm sure some of you can already see the difference uh, I thought this was an actual grant steering wheel but apparently it's not I got a hold of grant and they said it's not either so I'm gonna believe them now that I got an actual grant steering wheel here uh, this is a grant Le Mans they used to make this steering wheel with these holes in it like this this is what Bumblebee has in it or needs to have in it um, but the problem is this will not work with this adapter because obviously it's a five bolt pattern. I thought that this would bolt right onto this, but these screws don't even hold anything. These nine screws, they're just accent screws or whatever you want to call them. Um, so now uh, I need to make an adapter that goes from this nine bolt pattern to uh, a five bolt pattern. So, I'm going to get some pencil, paper, some pencil and paper. I'm going to get a pencil and some paper, cardboard or something, and try to make a template. And then try to find some material to cut a template out of, maybe, maybe a piece of steel or something. Um, I don't have any aluminum, so um, I don't know. I might have to get something laser cut out. But uh, I guess I'll start doodling something up and get back to you guys. So... Got my little template I need. And guys, it ain't looking around. I really don't think I have anything material wise, like an eighth inch or five thirty seconds thick. Um, aluminum would be great. I'd like to get something laser cut, but I really want to get my steering wheel put in. So, what I think I'm going to do is I mean, it's, <laughs> it's perfect. I don't really want to, but I think. I'm going to destroy this other steering wheel, the actual Grant steering wheel. I'm going to cut off these spokes and then grind flush all around this. That way I can still put those button head bolts down through these countersink holes. I mean, they don't look the greatest, but they'll work. And then we still got our bolt pattern on the inside right here and everything literally bolt right together. So, um, it's, it's seriously going to, hurt me <laughs> cutting apart this brand new steering wheel but I like I said I don't have anything um, to make an adapter out of uh, all right they're turning back now I guess yeah screw it we might as well cut it so I uh, just did the damage <laughs> use the jigsaw and a metal blade and it literally cut right through it like butter so we'll take it to the belt sander and clean it up a little bit make it look a little better and uh, we'll bolt it on and pray to God that it works if not we just wasted hundred and seventy dollars on a steering wheel but uh here's a hundred and seventy dollar adapter um, <laughs> if you think about it so let's go clean this up real quick it works guys uh, got all these little screws we got put in these little button head uh, like 10 30 seconds or 5 30 seconds 
I don't know what size they are. They're button head screws though. And I could put all of them in here. So what I'm going to do is put some red Loctite on these so they do not come out. It's kind of a critical part of your car, your steering wheel, so you don't want it falling off when you're driving. Um, so I'm going to set up a little time lapse here and capture it for you guys. So we got our horn button pushed in and everything bolts up perfectly. Um, I think we're in there like swimwear guys. Uh, let's go rip the other steering wheel off. Get this bad boy installed. I don't, I bought this adapter for no reason whatsoever. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I called Grant and I said, hey, I got the steering wheel. Yada, 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 yeah, it's not ours. So or before it was, hey, here's the parts to install it without even seeing it. And I ordered, I don't know, 50 or $60 worth of parts from uh, Jegs, and they show up. Well, none of that stuff works. So I then called Grant again. I said, hey, I ordered all these parts. Um, nothing works. What do I do? Well, send me a picture of your steering wheel. So I send them a uh, said picture, and they said, yeah, that's not ours. So. They don't make an adapter, and so I, I I didn't know what to do. So I thought for sure it was a Grant steering wheel, which I really don't know. And I called, well, I didn't call, I got on Summit and I ordered a legit Grant steering wheel, the whole kit. So I said, okay, and it showed up today. I said, well, I'll just use that steering wheel with, my, with that hardware and the button, this piece, with my steering wheel well obviously here we are making an adapter cutting a steering wheel apart to make an adapter so luckily got to work I gotta go pull my other steering wheel off with a steering wheel puller and uh, we'll be good to go so I'll catch you out in the car all right we're back guys uh, had some camera problems battery died ridiculously quick I don't know why I'm having problems with this GoPro um, battery dies with I mean, it's an hour or two. It's crazy. Um, but anyways, we got the wheel installed. I didn't want to stop. I was plugging away at it. And our adapter works pretty good. Um, I was putting some Loctite on these countersink screws right here. Getting these put in. And get that ran in. All right, we're good, guys. Here we go. Last piece. may work may not work I don't know we'll uh have to pop it back out here god dang it oh geez okay I'll quit it
It's wanting to stick for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, give me. Ah, oh, jeez. I hate working on this thing for that reason. All right, now I don't have a horn, great. Probably uh, blew a fuse, probably. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. And now it's crooked, great. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, it's been a long day. I had some camera problems. Um, the battery wasn't staying charged, and I had SD card problems, and it just was a big ordeal. So, anyways, we got our steering wheel, and it works amazing. It looks amazing. Um, our little adapter plate we made, it's fine. You can't even really tell it's there. And we got this two inch extension on there as well, that's just part of the kit. Um, gives you plenty of room and everything for your key and whatnot. But this new wheel feels amazing. And then my girlfriend, she got me this little Autobot emblem and it was kind of made for the steering wheel. Behind the centerpiece is a, another part of the button and there's like a recess in there that was glued. So I popped this out and then heated it up with a heat gun and that fell out of the back and I luckily um, was able to rework both the buttons, the grant button and then this transformer button and I got everything to work so it's kind of like the one of the main parts to the car. Um, I, I love it. it. This whole new steering with everything, I just love it. Um, we also got these gauges, the ones that were um, locked up still and the cable <laughs> anti-theft device. Uh, me and dad hooked these up today um, we got a water temp we got uh, volts and then we got our oil pressure and then um, we got all lights ran to these uh, to the fuse block and everything works good it's kind of cool you can put little covers on the lights inside and you get like a red one a green one a blue one uh, I think there's yellow I don't know I just went for the white um, let's see if you get these uh... oh I left my left my blowers on. There we go. Is that not cool? Pretty cool. So I don't know. I just like lights for some reason. Lights are cool. <laughs> so I need to put some red paint in here, make it look nicer. But it's it's coming together. It really is. I'm happy. So um, I think the next part's gonna be. Uh, putting the rear seats in, redoing the upholstery work. They're just seat covers. They take a um, some hog ring pliers, or they take hog rings. It's like a little triangular looking ring that you clamp together with some special pliers. Or I've seen um, some guys, the Goon Squad guys, actually, they just did the same thing to their. Um, Jeep Gladiator build, they use zip ties and they zip tied the seat covers on, which I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Um, 
but it's coming together guys so but today's been a long day um, camera problems uh, battery problems um, just one thing after another so I'm home corona free everything got installed today so um, yeah I don't know I don't know what to we gotta do wheels and tires still um, I got the back wheels but we gotta get front craggers and then we gotta get four brand new tires which is not gonna be cheap and I'm not looking forward to spending that money but um, this is what it is but um, yeah you guys are liking what you see leave a comment like comment like comment I don't know why I'm saying like and comment so many times like comment share it leave a uh, comment <laughs> subscribe I don't care what you guys do it's up to you guys um, but hit that little bell ringy ding notification looking thing um, but uh till next time uh, yeah see you guys later